Gas troubles making your baby fussy. I know the struggle of trying to release trapped gas in babies. As a parent guide and a seasoned mother of two, I've got some instant fixes you'll wish you knew sooner. Stick around for some practical, instant relief strategies. Trust me, you're not alone. First up, we have the essential practice of tummy time. This involves placing your baby on their stomach for a few minutes daily. This simple routine is a game changer for gas relief. The gentle pressure on the abdomen during this position aids in the natural movement of gas through the digestive system, providing comfort to your little one. It's a win-win scenario, promoting both physical development and relieving any potential discomfort caused by trapped gas. So make tummy time a part of your daily routine and watch your baby thrive. Now, let's explore the soothing technique of baby massage. Lightly and lovingly, rub your baby's tummy in a clockwise motion. This method isn't just about relaxation, it's a powerful aid for digestion, assisting in the gentle movement of trapped gas. The clockwise direction aligns with the natural flow of the digestive system, optimizing its effectiveness. As you engage in this tactile connection, keep in mind that a little pressure goes a long way. Your touch, filled with warmth and care, is not only therapeutic, but also incredibly soothing for your baby. Third technique is leg exercises for your baby. And yes, we're talking about the delightful bicycle legs. Lay your baby down and with a gentle touch, guide their legs in a cycling motion. This isn't just about play. It's a fantastic strategy for aiding digestion. The rhythmic movement not only stimulates the abdominal muscles, but also encourages the movement of those pesky gas bubbles, providing much needed relief. So whether your baby is giggling along or simply enjoying the motion, remember that these bicycle legs are more than just fun. They're a dynamic and effective way to keep your little one comfortable and happy. Finally, let's talk about another soothing method, the warm compress. Take a soft, warm cloth and gently place it on your baby's tummy. This simple act can work wonders by relaxing the muscles and providing comfort, especially if your little one is dealing with trapped gas. The warmth not only helps alleviate discomfort, but also promotes a sense of relaxation, making it a comforting experience for your baby. Remember, in the gentle art of caring for your little one, a warm touch can go a long way. So consider adding this warm compressed technique to your repertoire for those moments when your baby needs a little extra TLC. You can also use burping techniques for gas release through burp. I've already explained effective burping techniques in my previous videos. I sincerely hope that these techniques will work for you. I know the struggle of trying to burp a fussy baby. Today, I'm sharing practical strategies to burp your little one instantly and effectively. Stick around because last tips are going to be a game changer for you. First one is classic over the shoulder technique. I'm going to tell you about the key for this method, which most people don't realize. Begin by placing your baby over one of your shoulders. You want your baby's stomach to rest against your shoulder with their head positioned on the opposite side. Use one hand to support your baby's bottom. With the other hand, pat your baby's back. Firm padding is key to this method as general padding won't yield results. This padding or rubbing action, particularly on the upper back, helps to stimulate burping by encouraging the release of trapped air or gas bubbles in the baby's digestive system. Second one is the seated burping technique. For this technique, sit down and place your baby on your lap. Ensure your baby is facing away from you, with their back against your chest. Use one hand to support your baby. With your other hand, pat your baby's back. Aim for the upper back between the shoulder blades. The seated burping method is particularly effective for slightly older babies who can sit with assistance. This method can be comfortable for both you and your baby and may work well if your little one prefers sitting. Next up is the forward-facing technique. Lay your baby across your lap with their tummy down. Gently pat or rub their back to encourage those burps to come out. This position can be particularly helpful if your baby doesn't like being held upright. Another technique is the bicycle legs. Lay your baby on their back and gently move their legs in a cycling motion. Continue this cycling motion for a minute or two. You can vary the speed and direction of the leg movements to keep it interesting for your baby. This not only helps with digestion, but can also release trapped gas. It's a simple yet effective trick that many parents swear by. 
This technique is generally comfortable for babies and can be a playful way to address common issues like gas and indigestion. And lastly, the rhythmic swaying method. Hold your baby in your arms and sway gently from side to side. The motion should be smooth and comforting. Imagine the gentle rocking that might mimic the motion of a baby swing. The motion can help dislodge those sneaky burps while offering comfort to your little one. Beyond burping benefits, the rhythmic swaying method provides comfort and can be a wonderful bonding experience between you and your baby. Always ensure your baby's head and neck are well supported during these techniques, especially if they are still developing neck control. Dealing with a constantly crying baby can be quite challenging, especially when it comes to newborns. Evening fussiness, often referred to as colic, is a common occurrence, as are instances of babies experiencing discomfort due to gas or reflux. In this guide, I'll share effective methods for alleviating your baby's discomfort by addressing trapped gas. These strategies have proven successful with my daughter. As a seasoned mother of two and a current parent coach with a presence on YouTube, I've honed these techniques. If you're not already part of our community, consider subscribing to my channel. Now, let's move towards the effective techniques for burping your baby. The typical approach to burping involves placing the baby over your shoulder and lightly patting their back. While this is a valid method, for more thorough burping, it's essential to use firmer patting motions. The K is a solid pat, as gentle taps won't yield results. Enhance the technique by incorporating back rubbing alongside patting. You can experiment with different positions, like raising the baby high on your shoulder to better target their stomach. Another approach involves a tummy position, wherein you support the baby's body with your arm between their legs. For newborns, ensure to cradle their head securely. Alternately, lay the baby on your lap with their stomach against your knees, employing the same pat and rub motion. For more upright burping, sit the baby on your knee while supporting their head. Gently move the baby in circular motions or back and forth rocking, which helps release trapped gas. Another tactic is leaning the baby forward with their head resting on your hand. If these methods don't yield results, consider standing up and walking around, which often encourages gas to be expelled. Going up the stairs can be particularly effective. These approaches not only aid in gas relief, but often soothe crying babies. Furthermore, fostering movement in your baby's torso proves beneficial. Instead of merely rubbing the stomach, focus on the hips. Lift the hips slightly and create side-to-side -side or circular movements, as well as figure eight motions. These rhythmic actions are enjoyable for babies and facilitate gas release. Additionally, bicycling their legs aids in gas movement. Gentle leg movements followed by a slight leg push can help release gas from the lower abdomen. Finally, an exercise ball can offer relief. Placing your baby on the ball and gently moving them encourages gas to escape. Bouncing and rocking are effective, and the ball's pressure on the stomach provides soothing relief, especially for babies dealing with reflux. Remember, while these tips are informed by my experience as a mother and professional, they aren't a substitute for medical advice. Feel free to share your own strategies in the comments and don't hesitate to ask questions or seek support. Liking this video helps boost its visibility, allowing us to continue sharing valuable content. Stay tuned for more helpful tips. Thank you and happy parenting.